Hello, thank you for joining me. So this is video number six in our uh, series on uh, producing renderings, and we're taking a long time to get to the point where we're going to be rendering a photograph, but we're getting pretty close. But a lot of the steps that we're taking here will help enhance the way that rendering is going to look, especially on the inside of the house. So one thing to keep in mind about uh, rendering and in regard to uh, light that's coming in, you can't make a rendering of a, uh, of a dark room. If you don't have any windows in that room, and if you don't have any light coming in from the outside, it's going to be a very dark rendering. So one thing to enhance the inside of your house, because not every uh, portion of your house is going to be uh, lit by sunlight, you do need to have lights on the inside of the house. So lights come in a couple different uh, forms, and uh, a lot of the lighting fixtures that are available in Revit Architecture uh, do have the ability to cast light, and they cast light uh, with uh, very specific uh, qualifications and quantifications uh, to it. Now we're not going to get in that sort of detail, but uh, there's three different kinds of light fixtures that you can uh, use in the house. Uh, first of all, there's a ceiling fixture, there's wall fixtures, and then there's floor fixtures. Floor fixtures would be like maybe fixed lights on the outside of, the, of, the, of a house or commercial structure that actually shine on the exterior building. Um, it could be floor lamps too, where they would be uh, either a lamp on a table or a lamp that's uh, maybe a uh, lamp that's floor mounted maybe four or five feet off the ground or so on and so forth. And you have sconces. You can see in uh, this camera view over here that I have a couple sconces in the kitchen. They come in a variety of different sizes. And of course, if you can't find what you're looking for within the library and Revit Architecture, you could always go to Revit uh, or Autodesk Seek or Revit City or some other similar sites in order to download what you're looking for. But you do want to make sure that when you're installing light fixtures, not all of them have uh, light capabilities to them. You do want to make sure that they do have that lighting capability. So what I have in the... In, um, in the dining room area is a small uh, ceiling uh, with uh, so two trougher lights on it that are just uh, above the dining room table. That's kind of odd, but what I have is a vaulted ceiling in that room, and it's difficult to put a uh, ceiling on that and have uh, fixtures hang from that. Not impossible, but that's going to be saved for another video. But what I did to try to enhance that a little bit is to... Uh, create kind of a small uh, suspended ceiling area right above that table in order to provide the light on the table in order to enhance ultimately the, the rendering that we're going to be putting together. So let me go and show you how to do that. So let's go to our second floor floor plan. You notice that you can't, you really can't see the, the lighting here. What you really need to do if you want to see the ceiling is go to a ceiling plan. So we're going to sec go to our second floor ceiling plan and take a look at that. And what we have is it's just a small suspended ceiling. So let me show you how to put that together. I'm going to go ahead and delete what we have here and put the ceiling in there. And, yeah, okay, it's been a while. Yes, we'll save the project. So, let's go ahead and click on the ceiling and delete it. And because the lights are dependent upon the ceiling, those lights go too. And that's something to consider too. If you're deleting a wall with a door in it, well, the door disappears too. If you're deleting a wall with a window in it, the, the window disappears too. So, let's do this. While we're drawing this, let's go to our first floor. Uh, not our first floor, I'm sorry, our second floor. Rather than the second floor ceiling plan, what I want to do is put a small ceiling it's kind of an odd ceiling, by the way. I mean, it's not really correct to a model. I probably wouldn't have a suspended ceiling, but I probably would have some sort of uh, fixtures that would hang from a ceiling. But just to enhance the, 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 you know, the render we're going to put together, I'm going to go ahead and put that ceiling in. So, enough said here. Let's go to our Home tab, go to Ceiling. Uh, compact Ceiling, I think it defaults to that. What it's going to do is going to put a ceiling in this whole area over here, which is okay for now. We're going to do an automatic ceiling, or... We're going to do a sketch ceiling. That's probably more appropriate right now. So an automatic ceiling is going to find that room bounding elements and put a ceiling within all that. And that's going to take a lot of editing. But I think sketch ceiling probably would work best here. And what I'm going to do is just draw a rectangle. So you're going to go to the rectangle command. And it's going to pick up some um, reference geometry with the floor, which is probably okay for now. And just draw that out. It doesn't have to be perfect. And when we're all done, uh, green check mark. And it's going to put that ceiling in there. That sometimes you'll get if you're doing something like this on a floor plan rather than a ceiling plan. It's going to get a you're going to get a notice saying that uh, um, you know what you just drew you can't see. It says having a little bit more elegance in regard to wording, but uh, that's what it means. What you drew here you can't see. And what you have to do is you have to go to your ceiling plan in order to see that. So if we go to our second floor ceiling plan, there's our ceiling. There's a suspended ceiling in a much smaller format. So let's go ahead and put lights in that. After a few modifications, I'm going to take that, uh, um, you know, that separation that separates the ceiling uh, tiles. I'm going to take that and move that over so that we have two, two foot by four foot uh, 
ceiling tiles that we can actually put a trough or light in there or a suspended light in there. But we're going to save that for the next film, so please join me for that.